Hi team, hope you're all safe and well. Today I'm going to introduce the Wellesley Middle School Juggling Challenge. What we're going to do over the next couple of days is teach you how to juggle with two balls. There will be two levels to your juggling challenge and you can choose whichever level you would like. You can choose the pro level where you juggle two balls with one hand or you can choose the amateur level where you juggle the ball with two hands. This is a really good chance for you to develop a new skill but also to use some math skills to help track your skill development. Each day you will attempt 10 tries and you will record those tries on your recording sheet. What you are counting is how many successful catches you have made. If you're in the pro level, you will count your successful catches every time a ball is caught. If you're in the amateur level, you will count every time a ball is caught in your left hand. Or, if you're going the other way, in your right hand. When juggling two balls with two hands, one ball goes up and I suggest you throw it just above your head. As that ball is in the air, transfer one ball from your left hand to right hand and throw the other ball up. The balls are going around in a circular action. One ball is in the air, the other ball is being transferred from your left hand to right hand. It helps if you, you, the two balls that you're using are of similar weight and you keep throwing the ball to the same height each time. Remember, a successful point is for every catch that is made with your left hand or if you're going the other direction with your right hand. When juggling with one hand and two balls, what you need to do is keep your eyes up looking at the top ball. As a ball comes down, you'll catch it behind and push it in front of the ball coming down so that your hand is in a position very close to the other ball. If I watch the ball come down, I can get my hand in the right position, push it forward and throw it in front of the other ball. Alternatively, you could try throwing side to side. Again, remember a successful point is scored when each ball is caught. To find the recording sheet, you'll need to go into Assignments in your Teams app and find your class. Let's use 6G as an example. And you'll see there the Wellesley Middle School Juggling Challenge. Each day, you'll use the sheet and record your 10 results. So on day one, there is a, a space there for each of your scores for your 10 tries. After day one, I might end up with a set of raw data like this. So for my 10 attempts, I got a score of 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, and 5. I'm going to then fill in these three columns. So I had 10 attempts. My total, the total is the total of these 10 scores. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 6, 9, 13, 14, 15, 20, 22 is the total. Which would mean my average is total divided by attempts, 2 Point 0.2 Hopefully over the seven days we find that our average starts to increase as our skill development becomes better and better. Good luck guys. Good luck with your juggling challenge boys. You've got plenty of time to complete it and the seven days don't need to be consecutive days. So you've got up to the 29th of April to get your training done. Remember, the more you train, the better you'll get. Keep going, persevere for your personal best. And if you find it too easy on the amateur, move up to pro level and give yourself a challenge. 
Good luck, enjoy yourself, stay safe and stay active.